fair to say that I, I've been warning you about Olympia and Evergreen and Occupy that, in essence, in order to be, um, to, in order to carry progressivism properly to, in, in its best sense, you actually have to start from scratch almost because the main branch of progressivism is the most dangerous branch of thinking currently found in the political spectrum. And the branch that I think you and Wait, I are- How would you define that branch? Well, it, it's one that begins from a substrate of thinking about oppression, which is not a fundamental language. You cannot make a cosmology or an epistemology out of oppression and resistance. Mm -hmm. it just, it leads to madness. The most difficult thing is to take the burden of evolutionary thinking and the theory of natural and sexual selection and to realize that that is your toolkit and from that toolkit you must build something that doesn't look like evolution has always looked before because we're now on too crowded of a planet and the toys we've been able to produce from science are too powerful. I think Brett has called this wisely uh, the hard problem, the really hard problem in evolutionary theory which is you can't continue to dance with the one that brought you. Yeah. Because evolution mm -hmm. gets you here, and it almost certainly will end in a self extinguishing event if you keep playing the evolutionary game. And there is no thought, and this is, you know, I think that this is, uh, Brett is the best person carrying this forward. Um, there is no proof that there is a way to use evolutionary building blocks to avoid. The evolutionary fate of having, you know, unlocked the twin nuclei of cell and atom because they're just too powerful as tools. And so this is why I think both of us come down on the left, even though we, we now travel in a world that often leans right, because the right is correct about the left generally being in denial, like trying to wish yourself into a better world. Where mm -hmm. you know you want sexual equality, but you're not willing to pay attention to what sex and gender actually are. You don't have any idea what sexuality means because you're just thinking about it in humans, and you're not studying it in a million different species. Um, okay, so you can't wish yourself into a better tomorrow because that you you will create you will try to create utopia, and both of us are strong anti-utopians. That utopia always leads mm -hmm. to dystopia always. if you if you go for it, um, but we also don't have any choice, but we have to get off this treadmill because as, as the tools get more and more powerful, it's very clear that if we continue to run the evolutionary program, uh, there is no guarantee that, that we, we emerge from this.